Okay, just a quick video on these Ford Fiesta locking wheel nuts. I've just taken them out literally about an hour ago. And uh, just to let you know a little bit about them. They have this metallic cover on the top there, which comes off. And the idea behind is that if you put a socket on the top here, then it will just shear off. It comes off like that. Move those out of the way. So imagine this is in your wheel, like so, and you put a socket on the top of that. And the idea is that it just shears off. If you look underneath, you'll see that it's only the flimsiest, tiniest little bit of alloy, aluminium of some sort, that's holding these two pieces together. So as soon as you put a socket on, that just shears clean off. And what you're left with is that in the car, in your wheel. Now, normally you'd put your socket on top, your key, sorry, not your socket, your key, you put your key on top and it would fit into these various grooves. And that's the way that you get it out. The guy had lost his key, so he brought it to me. And what it looks like, let's see if I can get one of these off underneath. There we go. You take this metal cap off here. Normally it would just be like this on your car and this would actually be flush the top of this would be just be flush but if you take it off this is this is what it looks like this is what it looks like now you can see that there's like a one mil gap there maybe a little bit bigger than one mil and it's just a tiny little bit of alloy that's holding that top bit on. So it's designed that as soon as you put a socket set, a socket on the top of that, that that will just shear clean off and it'll look like that. And then what you're left with is that in the car. You can still put a key on the top to get out of it. You can um, put up what's called a dynamic blade on the top. And what it does, you chip away with a dynamic blade, you chip away a little bit of the side here, and then you make you basically make a, a, a new key for it using a dynamic blade, and it just smashes a, a chunk out both sides, and you can turn it to get it out, and it comes out. But you can also, if you're really, really careful, I'm gonna show you a video of how I got all four of these out without drilling or welding or or, um, you know, without an actual key. And basically what I did is I got a, a smooth bore socket, whacked it on the top, and just really gently just turned it, and it came out. Now, if they're not over taut, they, they can come out like that. You can see the gap there. They can just come out just by putting a socket on the top. I'll put a 21 mil smooth bore. So it's not six sided or 12 sided. It's just smooth on the inside, smooth bore socket. And just really gently, really carefully, just turning it and all four came out. So it is possible to get these out. So you'd either have to put a dynamic blade on the top of that, or you can just actually weld. Just weld something onto the top of there, around the top. Bearing in mind there's a there's a bolt here that this thing screws onto in the in the rim. So you don't want to get any weld onto the bolt, but around the there's plenty of room here to weld something circular onto it, and you can extract it pretty easy. But who wants to weld? You don't want to weld if you don't have to. But this actually sheared off when I was trying to, this was stuck in my smoothbore socket and trying to get it out the smoothbore socket, 
tapped the top of it and, and that's what happened it just came straight off and that's the security mechanism in these that as soon as you put a, a six-sided socket or a 12-sided socket they just come straight off either this aluminium cap here will spin around which is the last thing you want this aluminium cap to spin around with a socket on it because it means you're going to struggle to get your socket out or it'll either spin around or it'll just shear off you can just see if you look down the side there there look you can just see the gap and it's just the most flimsiest of aluminium it's more just like an aluminium film really just holding the thing together and that's and that just came apart when i was trying to get it out the socket after i removed it so anyway i'll just show you the video of how you can take it out if you're really careful it's, you can actually take them out if they're not over torqued or seized then you can remove these you recording yep okay smooth bore 21 mil really really careful with these because the, the top is designed to just break off so you've got to do it really nice and easy man otherwise you've got to weld the thing so you just do it nice and easy Just like that. Okay.